He reached out to Nine on Your Side after someone's been busting open sheds with bolt cutters. Nine on Your Side's Justin Shecker visited with concerned neighbors and he joins us live in the newsroom. Justin. A guy in Vale, Nine on Your Side, obtained data from the Tucson Police Department on property crimes in the Dool and Fruit Vale neighborhood. The number in 2014 was down 33% from 2007, but there's been some incidents this month and neighbors say the stats don't reflect how they're feeling about their safety. It wasn't like this 20 years ago. It's got much, much worse. Over the weekend, Catherine Harris discovered someone broke into the shed on her property. It's petty crime, but it's, it disrupts our quality of life. This is where the Dool and Fruit Vale neighborhood stores tools to take care of the butterfly garden across the street. We're not sure what was taken. Maybe just a rake and a shovel. But Harris is still alarmed because of what happened to a neighbor's shed. They cut the padlock with bolt cutters. It means that they're coming here to do harm. The neighbor across the street says he's been targeted four times recently. Twice, someone broke into his backyard, once stealing a bicycle from his shed. You can see over here, he's added a temporary fence to better protect his property. He tells me he's soon also going to add an extra security system. But the most interesting part of his story was that one night when he caught someone stealing his his snorkeling gear, he came outside and chased the guy away with a baseball bat. Sheds are broken into, my home was broken into. Helen Garfinkel is the Neighborhood Association president. Stolen bikes, that's just regular. That's just regular. She's encouraging neighbors to be on the lookout for suspicious activity. They report these crimes to police, but she'd also like to see more officers on patrol. Circulate a little bit more. We're not asking them to stand on the corner. They do a great job when we call them. They're there, they're very supportive, but we need more police presence in our neighborhood. The neighbors say they plan to start attending the monthly Coffee with a Cop meetings in Midtown. They're also using Nextdoor.com, a social network neighborhood watch. Live in the newsroom, I'm Justin Shecker, Kega 9 on your side.